Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a fascinating puzzle from a news setter called Ryzen today. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It's a big day, big news day in the, in the UK because the Prime Minister quit today. Um, I heard a litany of the country's troubles yesterday which began with someone saying how long it takes to get a passport and believe me, I know. Oh, if you're working at the passport office in Liverpool, can you find a way to send my son's passport back quickly, please? Otherwise, his holiday is going to be ruined. Anyway, um, let's let's uh, mention what's going on on Patreon today. We had a new crossword published, the uh, Times Monthly Club Special, the insane crossword I tackle every month. So you can watch my attempt on that for, um, for May, actually. We'll publish June's in a couple of weeks, but May... May's has gone up today. Um, if you like the cryptics, that's fun. If uh, if you don't, you might like genuinely approachable pencil puzzles, which Simon uploaded to the channel today. So there's always something going on on the channel. Do check out our links on the description field under the video. Um, they are they'll lead you to Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise and our apps, as well as Discord and Patreon, etc. Uh, Ryzen checked out something I mentioned that on the community tab under the video you can find our submission preferences and he followed them to the letter and we're doing his puzzle today so there must be something in that. Um, in fact he sent it in with rules in the style we would use so I'm actually using his tiny URL link rather than recreating the puzzle and potentially introducing an error myself so thank you Ryzen for doing all that and uh, I'm going to go through the rules of your puzzle now. So normal Sudoku rules apply and that's one to nine in every row, column and box. Um, in cages, digits must sum to the small number in the top left corner of this cage, which is always 17. Digits cannot repeat within a cage, so that applies to that one and this one, which have numbers in different boxes, but they can't be repeats. Clues outside the grid, these are little killer clues, give the sum of the cells along the indicated diagonal. So those three cells add up to 17. Cells separated by a black dot contain digits with a one to two ratio. And cells separated by a white dot contain consecutive digits, but not all possible dots are given. So if you follow the channel, you will have expected those rules from this grid. Oh, did I mention, maybe I didn't, digits cannot repeat on the marked diagonal. So that's a set of one to nine as well. Um, there we go. So those are the rules. Do give it a try. Uh, Ryzen said that people on the Discord puzzle found it pretty hard, but he thinks we'll find it fairly easy. We're not better than the good solvers on the Discord channel, I assure you, so I'm sure we'll find it hard, but you can tell from the video length probably by now. I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. My eye is drawn to a cage with two black dots in it. Yes, they can't be an 8-4 pair because the other cells in the cage would have to add up to 5 and that's too few for three different numbers. So these black dots are selected from 1, 2, 2, 4 or 3, 6 as pairs but obviously you can't have both 1, 2 and 2, 4 in different positions. So one of them is a 3, 6 pair then the other three cells in the cage add up to eight without using three. So it's a one, two, three, five, six cage. And five is not on a black dot. So we've got a digit. Uh, I should say, I'm pretty sure this is right. There are only two ways of filling a five cell 17 cage. Um, and they are one, two, three, five, six, and one, two, three, four, seven. So they always use one, two, three. For some reason, I can never get it in my brain whether that number is 18 or 17, but it's 17. They always use one, two, three. Now look, there's loads of two cell 17 cages that I should probably have begun with. So they're eight, nine pairs. Then what do we do? These one, one black dot cages are much less useful. I mean, we know they don't have eights or nines in from the combos I just gave. Two reasons why that one doesn't have eights or nines in. One is that we've worked out the combinations and they never can. The other is that eights and nines are looking into every cell. Anyway, that's all irrelevant. Hmm, what do we do next? 
diagonal doesn't look very interesting yet. The leading one, I mean. These two are. Ah, nah, this, this shape is telling. Yes, this is important. This shape sees all of these cells. Sorry, all of the cells in this shape see this cell. That's what I'm trying to say. So we know that one, two, three are in the 17 cage here. And that means this cell can't be one, two, or three, or it would clash with, with whichever of one, two, three was in that cage. So this can't be one, two, three, or eight, nine. So it's four, five, six, or seven. And I think there's an awful lot of symmetry here. Only the middle box breaks the symmetry of this puzzle. So I think this is going to be the same. One, two, and three have to be there. Oh, not only the middle box, these two black dots. Anyway, um, this digit is going to be four, five, six, or seven as well, because similarly, one, two, and three must be in there, and they're all looking at that. So to make up the total, this is from 12 to 16. So this is from five to one, and it can't be a five because of that. Oh, look how cleverly placed that five is. It looks at the tail of this diagonal too. So similarly, that is one, two, three, or four. And the fact that this can't be five, I think that means this can't be four. Yes, the, the maximum of these two is four and nine, and that would be a repeat four there. Anything else is no more than 12, and that can't be four. So that applies up here as well. So these two cells, they almost appear on the diagonal now. They're from five, six, or seven. And what good does that do? Oh, look at this diagonal. Where are eight and nine on it? They're not in boxes one or nine because of these eight, nine pairs. And they're not in the 17 cage, which can't have those. So that's an eight, nine pair. Then I'm sure you know the secret. If not, I'm going to tell you now. Every row, column and box adds up to 45 because it's always the sum of one to nine. And that's the rule. So... In this box, which adds up to 45, we can deduct 17 and another 17, and we're left with 11 in these two cells, which is either 4, 7, or 5, 6. This one on the white dot it could be anything from 3 to 7, obviously. Now what? Where does five go in box one and nine? Oh, I thought it was going to be something about the diagonal. Five can go in those cells. Can't be on a black dot and it can't be wherever that five can see. So it's in one of those cells. So it can only appear once on the diagonal. So at least one of those two is going to be a five. What's this pair? Ah, if this is a one, two pair, that becomes three and three or four. One and two go in this box. Oh, hang on, here's a thought. Either five is in this cage, in which case five and six are in this cage and that's a seven, or five is not in this cage, in which case it's in this cell in box nine. So this can never be a six. It's either five or seven. Has that affected what this number can be? No, not at all. Okay, let's go back to the right now. Hang on, hang on. If this is one, two, that's three or four. This is now going to have to be a five. Because it can't be seven anymore. So if that's one, two, that's a five. This is a one, two. Ah, it seems to work. Maybe it's harder. Oh, if this is three, six, this is getting quite interesting now. If this is three, six, then three and six have to be in this cage. Ah. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think there's no room for a five in box nine if this is three and six. Let me just check this. If this is three and six, which then can't go here, they must go in this cage. Now, 
two of them in those three cells mean they can't... One of them must be in those two at least. Now, if one of them was here, that's no good because its partner from three and six would be there and couldn't be there. So neither of them would be there. They'd both be here if this was three and six. Five would be somewhere else in the cage, which would mean here, and there'd be nowhere for five in box nine. That is remarkably clever, but not easy to see, I would say. Three and six here would mean they can't be here. They'd have to be here because the black dot wouldn't work. Five would be there and there'd be nowhere for five in box nine. So that's not three, six. Wow. So this is not one or two. That's three or four. This, let me just check the maths. We're somewhere between 11 and 13. So this has to be between four and six, i.e. five. So five's not in the cage. Indeed, the cage is now can't have a five in because of that. So it's one, two, three, four, seven. You can't have three and seven on the black dot. So you definitely have two on the black dot and not there. Three, four, six, and seven in the rest of the row. Ah, but there's got to be a three in one of those cells and there's got to be a three in one of these cells. So there's two threes in that area. One can be in box nine, but the other must be in box eight. So one of those two is a three. In the box, six is confined. Oh, in the box, two only has one place. Hang on, I was going to mark six is in one of those two places. But there's only one place for a two in the box. It's there. So that is one or four. Oh, don't tell me that doesn't do anything. That's incredibly annoying. Um, six is in one of those, so that's not a six. It's three, four, or seven. One in the box. Ah, one in the box is in one of those. So neither of these can be a one, and one of them has just become a four. Now none of these can be a four. Four in the box is now not there. It's in one of those two places. Box nine is wonderful in this puzzle, and that can't be a four as a result. And now we've got a three, seven pair in the column. Isn't that fabulous? Um, now, how am I going to use that here? There's no three here. So the three in this box is in one of those three cells. If the seven is in one of those three cells, it's here. And then the cage has to be seven, three, six, impossible. Yes, that's brilliant. Right. This cannot be what do I mean? This can't have a seven in it, this cage. Why is that? Because because of that three, seven pair and the black dot, the seven would be there. And then the three would be in one of these two cells, therefore with a six on the black dot, but seven and six don't go in the same 17 cage. So that's impossible. So there's no seven in the cage. The seven is outside it with a four there. This is a one, two, three, five, six cage, which doesn't have three in those cells or five on the black dot. Um, or, or five on the diagonal, but got rid of it off the black dot. Anyway, this isn't a five. Oh, neither of these are fives on the diagonals. That's been available for a while. So the five in this cage is up here. This is a three, six pair. What's that doing? Don't know, I'm a bit stuck now. Um, these two add up to 12. There are two ways for that to happen. That's a three, seven pair, eight, nine pair. This can't be one or two on the dot. It's five or six. If it's six, this is a one, two pair, definitely. And that would be five and that would be three. Right, so if that's six, you get a one, two pair there, that's three, and this is five. Otherwise, this is five. So five ends up in one of those two cells and not here. Not sure if that really is helpful, but it's true. Okay, it's time to look at this 17 cage. What's going on here? Okay. 
if this is a one, two, three, four, seven cage, that's a six. If this is a one, two, three, five, six cage, that's a seven. Then that would, oh, hang on. Now that the five's not available there, this isn't four. So if this is a one, two, three, five, six cage, that's a four and that's a five. Oh, and this can't be one, two because of that cell. Oh, that's interesting. So if this is a one, two, three, five, six cage with a five there and a three, six there, this is one, two. Oh, this doesn't work. That's beautiful on the 17 diagonal. Right, if this is a one, two, three, five, six cage, five has to be there. This can't be a one, this is a three, six diagonal, uh, black dot. So that's a one, two pair. That puts three here, seven here because of the one, two, three, five, six cage. And that can't add up. You get to 18 or 19 on the diagonal. So it's a, wow, it's a one, two, three, four, seven cage. This is a six. What does that do? These two add up to 11. So that's not a one anymore. Six on the diagonal can't be here. So six in the box is down here. Uh, six, five, eight, nine. This can't be three. Oh, seven is obviously. Oh, three is also not on this black dot. Two is. So two is not in those cells. That feels a lot like what we did up here. Um, four is there or there and could be in the corner or in one of those. OK, that's not doing anything. Oh, it's this can't be six anymore. So we can't have three on the black dot on the other side. Um, one, two, and four. Oh, this can't be a one, two pair. I've said that a million times and forgotten it. So that's a two, four pair. So now four is not in these cells. So again, this is a one, three, seven, triple, just like it was down here. Um, Eight, nine, six, five, three has to be in one of those cells, obviously. Um, six, five, eight, nine, three. This is one, two, four, or seven. We've got this annoying quintuple building up that I can't quite resolve. Oh, we've got a two, four pair. So this is a one and this is a two. And now that's not a two. And two in the box is in one of those cells, not on the diagonal. And there's only one place left on the diagonal that can have a two right in the center. So that's going with a one there. This becomes three. This is a five, six pair now. Let's get rid of the corner mark. Five, six, three, seven, eight, nine. That's one or four, and these are from one, two, and four. Um, now, is there any more to be done up here? Every step I take, I think I'm really getting somewhere, and then it turns out I'm not really getting very far. Um, two, one, eight, nine, three, sevens. Two is here in this box. Seven two. That is not five or one. That is four or six. Let's just buy Sudoku, as we say so often. Um, two one eight nine four six. Let's just have a look at this triple again. Four is definitely on a corner on that diagonal. Doesn't really do anything. Um, five, six, two, five, oh, three in column two has to be there, which is weird. That's seven, eight, or nine, eight, nine, three, six, two. That's five or seven. Ah, oh, this isn't quite doing it, is it? 
this puzzle really does keep its secrets. Um, so one of those is a two. I know that. Do I know anything about these or this six? No, I've looked at that. Those have to add up to 11. That's quite easy for them to do. Now, if that's a two, we get a two here. And if it's a three, we get a three here, which is an interesting com. Oh, we can't have a three here because we've got a three here. So now the three in this cage is in one of those two cells and that's a two. That fixes four and two. That took a while to see. Um, that's not a four. The four on the diagonals in the other corner. This is a three. That's a seven. That's a three. This is a one seven pair. Um, that's nice. Okay. What else is that giving us? If anything. Yes, we can finish off this little diagonal and that one. How am I not noticing these appearing? That's a nine. That's a nine as well. Um, does that do anything? It takes nine out of those cells, eight out of those. I don't think that's just disambiguating nine eights that were kind of stuck in the puzzle. Um, two, three, seven, eight, nine. That is four, five, or six. Come on, there's a three here. So that's the same as that. Three, six, eight, nine, four is in one of those two cells, which forms an X wing I don't need with those. Five, two, eight, nine. Let's have a look up here. Right. If this was a one, two, three, five, six gauge, two and five are there. That's a one, three, six set. Seven and four. But if it's a one, two, three, four, seven gauge, four is there. Oh, well, two is always in one of these two cells because there is a two in it. And that place is two here. Now nine and eight are in that group. Come on, let's think about this a bit more. There's either a four there or a five there. And they're in the different makeups of the pos different possible makeups of the cage. Oh look, there's a three in one of those cells. Ah. That's an X-wing on threes, so there's a three in one of those two. Doesn't really do anything. If that was a one, there's a one here, then this would have to be three, four, seven. And that would be a six. Right, so either this is a no, that was based on a one here. So, oh look, there's a one seven pair on the diagonal. Good grief. So that's a three. Um, and that's a three. And these two aren't threes. I doubt that. Oh, it gives me a one seven pair. So that's not a one. Eight, six, one, three, seven. In fact, this is a naked nine now, which is a surprise. That is four or five. This is two or five. Four, two, five, six, three in the column could be in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. Mm, this is an odd one seven pair. Same digit goes there and in one of those two cells. Eight, eight. There has to be an eight in one of those two. Come on, we're getting close, but we're not close enough. Definitely a two there. Eight, nine, three, four. Four is there. Where is one in one of those two? I don't know. Diagonal again. No, I think of, I mean, that's a one seven pair. So they both see that cell, which therefore can't be one or seven or two, three, eight, nine, or five. Wow, so that comes down to four or six, which both determine the makeup of the cage. If it's four, the rest is one, two, three, seven. But if it's six, it's a two, five there and a one, three there. Ah, it doesn't quite decide it, does it? Oh, that's so annoying. 
that looked... Oh, I didn't need the one seven pair there. I had a one seven pair there. Might as well color these ones and sevens. There's a lot of them around. Let's make those yellow and these ones red. Um, those are red and that's yellow. Just in case that suddenly... Yeah, look, yellow and red are both looking at that cell, so it's not a seven. It's almost doing something. If I could have done the same there... That would be helpful. No, it doesn't yield much else. That can't be a seven, which is very obvious. Um, in fact, what about this cage? I haven't marked that. One, four, five, or six. That's why I haven't marked it. There's a lot of possibilities. That can't be four anymore. Nine, four, three, eight in one of those. Five, six, or seven here. Only two places for seven in the column. So, if that was a 7, that would be a 7. Oh, come on. I can't see what's going on. There's a 3 in one of those two. 5, 6, 4, 2, 8, 9, 3, 6, 2. I've done the little killers. I haven't done that white dot. I've done all the black dots, effectively. Oh, look, I can actually complete that one with six and three. Oh, that six gives a four there. How long has that been sitting there? Oh, all right, don't shout. I know it's a while. Um, that one has fixed this. Look, it's just Sudoku now. Four there makes this a five, makes this a two. Now, there isn't a five in the cage, so it is one, two, three, four, seven. Four. So this is one or seven. Don't know what colour it is, red or yellow, but that always seems a popular choice. Um, that's become a seven because it can't be four. So that fixes six and five in the box. Four is there. Never going to get this eight, nine done until we get something in row four or six. That can't be seven. It's part of a five, six pair. Four, five, nine, two. Now this is one, three, seven in the cage. So eight and six outside it. That makes this a five. That fixes that five, six pair I just found. This is one or seven and is red. Don't think this colouring is going to matter much now. Six there though. Uh, five, two, six, eight, nine. Oh, that's an eight, nine pair. Eight, four, two, five, six. That is one or three and that is one or seven which I don't, another, oh look, I can color that one now, that's yellow. This must be, no, it might not be yellow, it might be a yellow one there. Um, oh, come on, we're done now, surely. Three, four, two, five, eight, nine. That is one, six, or seven. Nine, eight, four, two, five, six. How am I not finished here? Two, three, five. That, that's become a four. I can see that suddenly. It's an eight, nine pair. So everything else in this row, that is a naked one because it sees three and five. That fixes the reds as sevens, the yellows as ones. Okay, that is helpful, surely. Now we've got three and seven in the corner, losing their religion together. That can't be a seven now. Two, seven, three, one, five. There's a six in one of those. That's a three. There we go. Five there. The three fixes three and seven. That fixes one. Got a six, seven pair. Four, two, one, three. This is a five, seven pair that I can do. Six, eight, nine still to go in the box. Everything's pencil marked now, so we must be close. Six and seven are done. Oh. They are if I go into the right cells. Seven there. Uh, that's not a six. So just eight nines left to do. This is a six. That's now a nine. Right. So this box is going to finish up by telling us about the eight nines. Yes, it is. Eight, nine. Uh, eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Nine eight nine eight. What a puzzle! That's brilliant. Really, really clever. I mean, that is quite difficult. I think. Well done to the guys on Discord who tested it. 
And well done to Ryzen. That's a great first puzzle. Um, will live in my memory for a bit. Very clever. Sweet 17 indeed. Thanks for sending that. Thank you for watching as always. I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.